guys, I'm gonna tell you how I use gelatin in my keto chow. I make three shakes at a time. So if you think I'm putting a lot of something in something, that's why. There's 48 ounces of water in here. Let's get to it. So I've got a half a stick of butter for each shake. So one, two, three, okay? Then I've got this little tiny jar that we're just going to add a little bit of water to. And when I mean a little bit, I just go like that. I don't measure, all right? Then we're going to take our gelatin. I'm trying to use up the last of this batch. It's not my favorite. I prefer a different kind, but this works totally fine. I have my tablespoon. It's one teaspoon per shake, so I just do one tablespoon. And then what you do is you bloom it in cold water. So just sprinkle this on the cold water till you get it all in there. One, tea, one tablespoon for three shakes is perfect. I'm messing around with gelatin consistencies right now, so I'm going to add a little bit more because I'm trying to perfect pudding. So, we're just gonna, oops. <laughs> we're just gonna let that bloom, and you will see, if you can see, it is already starting to bloom. It's gonna turn into this like wet gel. I like to give it a second to do that. In the meantime, we'll put our scoops in here. I'm gonna do chocolate this time. So I've got one, whoops, made a mess. Two. And three. I eventually will pour this bag into this plastic container. You guys know I'm nursing a broken leg right now, so I really haven't done any of my organization that needs to be done. I'm just, I try to stay off my leg as much as possible. All right, so looking at this, it's absorbed all of the water. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to this, sorry. I just want everything to be able to bloom up like that. So that's what you're looking for. Everything to bloom like this. Usually you don't have to stir it, but you can. Let me see if I have like a little, poke it with a little knife. I just wanna make sure all the powder comes into contact with water. Cold water too. So you see it kinda looks like the inside of a baby diaper. That gel stuff, that's what it reminds me of. So you want it to just look like this. Now what I'm going to do is place my butter and my gelatin in the microwave for one minute. I usually take it out about 15 seconds early and I will be right back. I am removing the hot butter and the hot gelatin from the microwave. The gelatin is now liquefied. Remember, this is hot water too. All right, don't burn yourself. And then what I do is I just take them both, pour them in, put on the top. Make sure it's on low, turn it on. I'll probably make more shakes after this video, so I'm just gonna move these over here. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. Looks good. I'm just gonna give the side a little bit of a scrape. I wanna make sure I get all of the chocolate deliciousness. Turn it back on. I've learned from experimenting not to blend it for too long because then it gets like foamy and then it doesn't all fit in my three jars. All right, so my mason jars are right here. They are 24 ounce jars. Right here is my 18 ounce mark. 
I usually shoot for that when I'm filling them and they all seem to be equal when I do it that way. Oh my God, this smells like heaven. It smells like hot cocoa because it's so hot. Whew, that smells like heaven. And the mint chip in pudding form that I did on accident was fantastic. And now someone's at my door. Well, there you guys go. That is how you make gelatin in your keto chow. Ta-da! Also, I found plastic lids on Amazon. All right, I guess I better go get the door. Okay, bye.